Welcome to the heavily abbreviated Saturday night edition of the Long Island Weather Update. As you see on the satellite, we have a warm front that is about is trying to move through. And, yeah, unfortunately, some showers out there as well. This is what we got here, so you can see that warm front there. And, yeah, I was hoping it would be dry this evening, but unfortunately, we have a little sprinkles and light rain over our area. As you can see, kind of making your Saturday night a little damp out there. Uh, and clouds kind of increased throughout the day, and now we got some light rain showers over us right now um so let's go to our look i'm not going to focus on what's going on in the rest this is just a heavily abbreviated long island weather update tonight all right because saturday nights i usually don't do it the reason i'm doing it because of the light rain that we have around on the warm front that we have so temperatures 50 degrees at islip and throughout the day it was a pretty cool day again temperatures generally in the 50s with that southerly flow um and uh, we'll go to the highs on the map right now so looking at your highs today, generally mid-50s. Um, you can see looking at Islip today, you can see how the clouds are increasing. Dew points stayed pretty, pretty low, and I thought those low dew points would protect us from those raindrops, but no, they didn't. So temperatures, Suffolk County, upper 50s, mid to upper 50s. Um, Nassau County, more like upper 50s. And, of course, my area, the hot box gets up to 60, of course. Uh, even cooler at LaGuardia at 57. Um, 61. I mean, it's normal for this time of the year to be around 60. Um, and then even hotter in Jersey where they had some low and middle 60s for highs. Let's go to the lows. And lows generally mid-30s, except West Hampton got down below freezing, but not quite as cold as last night, probably due to the increasing cloud cover and the southerly winds. But the Pine Barrens still got to below freezing, 27 at both West Hampton and, and um, Miller Air Park. Um, so let's look at the, should have had this set up already. Um, okay, I was going to go over the local pass weather but for today, but maybe I'll do that tomorrow night because it doesn't want to load. So let's look at the models, and you know what, I'll go over that at the end if it ever feels like loading. So, um, high t so you can see that high is moving offshore. That's going to allow a warmer air mass into the picture for tomorrow. Uh, and that's what's going to start getting warmer, but the, it's going to get a lot warmer on Monday, and that we'll talk about tomorrow night. I'm just covering now through tomorrow night in this Long Island weather update. So let's go to the HRRR right now, uh, and um, you'll see here that we will have some showers overnight. However, during the day tomorrow, it should be mostly dry. It shouldn't be any showers around, um, though it looks like some might try to threaten later tomorrow night, perhaps around, uh, looks like a line of thunderstorms, perhaps, uh, showing up here on the HRRR. Um, the little shortwave bit of energy right there it might try to come through uh, tomorrow evening, perhaps. Uh, here we go again, right around 9 o'clock, perhaps 10 o'clock. Could be a, a quick-moving batch of showers and maybe even some thunderstorms there showing up. Um, so, yeah, ever, we can't get our... Uh, we'll try one more time for the climate statistics, but um, if they don't work, they don't work. We'll just do it tomorrow night. Uh, all right, now it feels like loading, but you know what, we're going to wait until I'm done with this. Uh, so let's go to the dew points and wind flow, and this kind of will show you the story of the changes taking place. So those blues and greens give way to more yellows and lime greens as higher dew point air moves into the area. And look at that, there's some dew point pooling upstate, and that could what be what's contributing to the uh, showers and thunderstorms. That's because there's like a little drier push of air that tries to come in and kind of collide with it, I guess. But you can see, yeah, it's going to be a little on the humid side tomorrow as well. So, so of course, can't be dry. It can, always has to be humid uh, because this is the part we have warmer than normal ocean temperatures, so that's not a surprise. So tonight, we're not, temperatures will be probably rising through the night, probably into the 50s. And then by tomorrow, uh, you're going to be heating up. Uh, we're going to have temperatures, Jersey could approach 80, well into the 70s there. Uh, for Long Island, we'll probably be in the mid to upper 60s and maybe close to 70 on the north shore perhaps uh so it's going to be a warm day though there will be some clouds around um we'll uh, go ahead and look at that next i'm just going to look at the r gem um so here is what we have for clouds so we start off with clouds but then yeah you see the sun does come out later in the afternoon and that's what's going to heat things up uh, when that sun comes out and uh, especially over jersey where they're going to have more sunshine so i think they have a chance of getting up to 80 in new jersey tomorrow um, for sure. I think that's a good possibility. Um, I will look at one more model, and that is the NAM for the, as far as the, um, precipitation tomorrow goes. Um, tonight, 
Again, you'll see that patchy showers. It's, it's showing some more perhaps in the wee hours of Sunday morning. Um, and then we have a few more. Here are those showers that come in. And again, it's going to be more toward the uh, later in the evening and the afternoon. It's actually showing a possible cluster of thunderstorms. So I'll have to watch. There could be the possible chance of a thunderstorm tomorrow night. Um, this would be around 9, 10 o'clock, right? When we do the weather update, of course, is when there could be the chance of a thunderstorm, perhaps. Um, I don't think there's any severe risk for us. Uh, I will go to the Ventu Sky, and we'll look, go ahead and look at the Cape and see if there is any severe risk. I don't think there will be, but let's just go uh, for tomorrow night here and see if there is. It actually is showing some Cape over Pennsylvania at 11 o'clock, but not over our area. It's mostly to the west, but it is close enough, so... Um, strong to severe thunderstorms possible uh, to the north and west, but not necessarily over our area is what it looks like right now. But we'll have to keep an eye on it. Let's go to today's climate statistics finally. And ice slip got up to 56 degrees. That's still 7 degrees below normal. Actually, normal high is supposed to be in the mid-60s, believe it or not. Um, low 36, that's 9 degrees below normal. And that puts us 8 degrees below normal for the day. So uh, this will be the last below normal day we're going to have. We're starting tomorrow, we're going to go to average to above average. 64 and well above average by Monday. So 64 for a high at Central Park, obviously much warmer inland. Uh, and that's still 2 degrees below normal, though, and 3 degrees below normal for the day. So thanks for watching. Have a good night.